Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll learn about substitution effect and income effect. When the price of a good change, the optimal consumption bundle change. We have learned in the earlier videos how to find the demand function. So we already know by how much will the demand change as a result of change in price. For example, if utility function is called Douglas, uxy equals xy, price of y is 1, income is 4, and suppose the price of x falls from 2 to 1, we know that the demand function for x is m by 2px, so we can easily see that the demand for x as a result of change in price is going to be increasing from 1 unit of consumption of x to 2 units of consumption of x. So if the price of x falls, there is a change in demand. In literature, there are two reasons that are listed as a cause behind the change in demand for X. The first one is, since X has become now relatively cheaper in comparison to the other commodities, so the individual would want to consume more of it. This is known as substitution effect. The second is, since the commodity bundle the consumer was already buying will now cost less. Since his income hasn't changed, so he'll be left with some money if he's going to continue to buy the same bundle. So a fall in price of X can be thought of as increase in the purchasing power or the money that he has to spend. When he uses that money to buy goods, his demand changes. This is called income effect. In this section, we'll learn how to determine the magnitude of substitution effect and income effect in the total change in demand resulting from change in price. In the example above, the demand for X increased by one unit as a result of fall in price. We would like to know how much of this change is due to income effect and how much of it is due to substitution effect. There are two approaches to determine the magnitude of income effects and substitution effect in literature. One was proposed by Hicks and the other was proposed by Slutsky. In the next videos, we'll discuss both of them. See you in the next video.